I guess the intention was, let's write some music. There's a really nice freedom to that, just being like, let's write some music. And it's been a while since we've been able to. So it was quite exciting to be like, right, we're going to sit down and we're going to just let it play out. But yeah, just open your mind, set it free. But it's a subtle spark Feel the hairs on your arm go with No, 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 no We set out with no preconceptions of like what it was going to sound like or how we were going to play it or what we were going to use We just wanted to kind of create music Yeah, with no boundaries and kind of slipping into it, getting really deep into just the making of the music. And I think because we'd just come back off tour and we were really looking forward to getting into the studio, it was like a time to really become more in tune again. There was definitely more talk of making a dancier album, but then as soon as we started the initial sessions and the writing, we went in so many different directions and just kept going and experimenting. Every day was different. say is that I do the drums and bass, Katie does the singing and vocals, Dave does guitar and synths. On stage, we essentially do that. It's all done looping, lots and lots of loops. We've all got our stations and we're essentially trying to loop as we go along to figure out the songs. In the studio, there, there is no, you do that, you do that. Um, it's, it's very, you know, we, we've, Dave and I have got a lot of equipment around us. Katie's got some, she got a synthesizer on this new project. It's, it's whatever's around us, it's, it's free reign to, to use and pick up and do. Um, so I would say that we're all multi-instrumentalists and we're all still trying to learn them. Um, it's, it's a learning game at the end of the day and yeah, just trying to play it as best to make an album out of it. We're all very invested from the beginning because we're all writing it as a three. It, it doesn't exist until all three of us are in the room and actually feeling what's happening.
Uh, let's just record this. Yeah. Yeah, we've always had a real DIY approach to doing things. And when it's a creative output, you want full control over it, especially with this idea of it being a body of work. You want to put your energy into it. A big part for me as well is like the learning process. You need to learn how something works. At least have a really good understanding if you're going to work with someone else to realise your idea anyway. For me, I love learning and loving figuring out how to do things and what makes things work. But that's always bled through in the making process as well. Technically, if you know how to do it, then do it. You know, if you want something your way, just do it yourself. <laughs> Um, also, I suppose it was it was the pandemic. We did talk about working with other producers, but it was so hard to kind of make it work at that time. And also, I think we, we really wanted to do it ourselves in a way. We kept on trying away from working with other people because we were so in the zone with the music ourselves. DIY, it allows you to explore. And that's all, that's the thing that we love doing is exploring. There's a space for doing another hit, but it's not on like a downbeat, it's on a slight offbeat. <laughs> and then... Yeah, so that's where they come in. It's an Borrowing money a little bit. I think that's got to be our most ambitious track to date. The amount of ideas that we had and tried to get across. The initial session we had was one of the longest that we did and it was very experimental and loose. Because it went on for so long, we all kind of went out of sync with each other. We were all in time, but we were at different measures. So we all heard the track differently. So we were trying to pull these different ways of listening to this track into something that could work for all of us. But there's this past and present feeling about the track, reflection of history rewritten. We really wanted to keep the flow and essence of it. We kind of got the arrangement to a good stage, but there was always something tonally about that part of the track. I think we managed to find the balance, and we did that by taking it to Ali, because we'd recorded every instrument we had in the house.
knowing each other for so long, it's easy in the sense because we're more like a family. It's easy going in that sense. But then it can also be stressful because we're so open and we do have very different approaches to the sort of compromises that we have to do. It's, it's what defines Elder Island as Elder Island, but it has its challenges in doing so as well. Like, it's no singular vision. It's more letting, letting the music dictate where we go and our ideas that we have with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a total form of collaboration that I think you just couldn't have if you weren't as close. Because you'd be like, there's no way. <laughs> but this one for you, of course. <laughs> we have the drum sound like that. And I, I think that is what's special about our music, is like how it is the compromise that makes it what it is. Otherwise, it would just be my vision or Luke's vision or Dave's vision. When creating it to when producing it, that there are re really two different hats. When creating it as such, that, that there's just such a freedom that when it comes to writing it and producing it, that freedom is definitely like narrowed down because you're you're then set on a goal trying to trying to produce something, trying to, to finalize something. And that's where you know conflict can happen. It's trying to make all three of us comfortable with what is the final product. Dancing 